Okay, so now that you've had some time to uh, play around with your BTC Pay server, you'll notice that uh, in the server settings in maintenance, all the update features are blanked out and you're not able to update your BTC Pay server to the latest version. You'll see here really small, finely down the bottom that it's version 1.0.3.146. Um, so we want to then upgrade that to the ne next version. The BTC Pay Server guys are pretty um, trigger happy when it comes to updates and maintenance. Um, so because we don't have a Docker set up, uh, we're going to have to do this manually and maintain our server ourselves. So the way that we would do that is in our terminal, we will uh, change directory into the BTC Pay Server uh, directory. Um, in our home and uh, we will stop the service so sudo systemctl stop btc pay server okay so that will make the server go down and then what we'll do is we will type in a command git pull origin master okay and you will see here that this is up to date. And since it is already up to date, there's no need for me to proceed with this. But after that, you would go sudo build.sh. And then once that's complete, you would start the um, sudo system, start the BTC pay server back up again. Okay. So we will stop the server, um, git pull origin master build and then start the server back up again and so that will then come back up and uh, you will be able to access your server again okay so there it is back up again now the next thing that I wanted to share with you is um, essentially how to uh, expose your BTC pay server out to the world um, You'll find that, you know, being on local host and people within your own network can access the BTC pay server and your stores. Um, but ideally, what you want is your BTC pay server to be exposed out to the rest of the world. And so we can do that through uh, Tor. We've already done that with our uh, C Lightning, um, but we will do that with our... Um, uh, with our BTC pay server and the way that we need to do that is to uh, uh, um, edit our Tor RC file so that's su sudo nano etc Tor Tor RC okay and we'll go right down the bottom and this is our lightning service so we're just going to copy that and we're just going to amend some of the things that are there. So we'll put a space in between there so it looks nice. Um, now, hidden service directory, let's name it BTC pay server. Okay, so BTC pay server. We'll do a version three. Uh, you can do a version two if you want. Now the hidden service port, we're gonna put that on port 80. And the one that we're going to expose is 23001, which is our local host up here. Okay, so that's all that we really need to do that. So then we'll control X, we'll save that and enter. And then what we'll do is we'll restart Tor. So sudo systemctl restart Tor. And then that would should hopefully give us a host name that we can connect to. So the way that we would find that out is sudo cat uh, var lib um, Tor. And then our BTC pay server, which we ran. And then host name. Okay, and there is the onion address that has been spit out for us. So when we take this and we copy this, uh, and um, if, if you are having troubles with uh, your virtual machine in copying and pasting things in and out of here, what you can do is go to the uh, devices and then shared clipboard and make it bi-directional. Just a handy tip there. But we'll copy this and we will open up a Tor browser from literally anywhere in the world, okay? So this can be any computer. Um, they need the Tor browser to access this though. So we can now copy and paste that onion address in. Okay. 
and would you look at that? Um, we now have our BTC Pay server exposed out to the world. So if, for example, we wanted someone to go to our T-Shop, so if we go to Apps here, uh, sorry, if we, yep, and then go to our View here, then we can just copy and paste up to here, copy this, and go back into our Tor, and remove this, and paste that in, and we will see that our T-Shop is now exposed out to the rest of the world. You can um, play around with this. Um, you can get people to pay you um, uh, now through through the through the Onion router, uh, and you will find that um, it's not really ideal from a customer perspective to expose it out to uh, to Tor because um, they'll have to type in this weird Onion address and it looks a bit strange. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you can now expose your BTC Pay server and your shop out. The other thing that you can do is also have a look at the documentation uh, with BTC Pay server. There's a lot of documentation here. And so um, what you can also do is uh, integrate your BTC Pay server with um, various uh, shops that are available like WooCommerce for instance, Drupal, so on and so forth. So take a look through that and um, see what you can do. But you now have a fully um, exposed in a encrypted way. Doing it through ClearNet is a little bit more complicated, um, but I might do a video on that a bit later. It does take a little bit of uh, time and effort and potentially even money, but um, and, and it's not really self-sovereign, so to speak, but uh, it is possible to, to expose your BTC Pay server here securely um, using ClearNet as well. So... Um, Keep an eye out for that video 